love her energy. I love her energy. That's why there's a chair, because the clicker goes on the chair. But I tell you, when people bring energy, boy, is there a difference than someone standing there and just stand up? Or someone that brings that kind of energy? I love it. about all the new brand partners that are in the room that we've already acknowledged, but if you're brand new since the last time we had a regional, please go ahead and stand.
Texas. About two weeks ago, um, and none of that was impossible without my team. Um, this truly is. Coming back from Dallas, you guys, oh my gosh, any, any of you that were there, you know what we have here. Um, and it's, it's truly amazing. I, I believe that uh, with all my heart. So this is. This is I, I love that. I love hearing them uh, tell about the fact some of people, I love the stories of someone that's persevered for two years, right? Don't you love that? Someone that it wasn't going well. Someone that some people don't, and it doesn't really matter. It's what you believe in, and you just can't compare yourself to other people. All right, so who has hit the level of executive director since the last regional? Any new executive directors? No? How many executive directors are there in the room? Please stand. <laughs> Sherry, would you come on up here, you and Brian? And um, I'll keep moving on. Because she can walk fast now. I don't know. She's got to be she had, she just had some really incredible surgery. That's a lot. She's got an amazing story of what happened on the cruise, and maybe you can share that just a little bit, but as you come up, I'll keep going. Regional marketing directors, anyone hit regional marketing directors since our last regional? Okay, how many regional marketing directors in the room? Please stand. Sweet. And then we'll hit the national marketing director level, but before I do, and um, I would like to introduce you to Sherry McCoy and Brian Johnson, and they work this business together, and I just want you to share your name, your background, and if you want to share that cool story of the cruise. Well, so I will share that cool story over the cruise with anybody who wants to hear it uh, privately, because it's really emotional and it's a really personal story. But I will share it with you. I don't want to share it with anybody who doesn't want to hear it. Um, Mindy, <laughs> Mindy just said I did have total knee replacement six weeks ago. So, um, and, and it is a story that's related to that. Um, we started in Miriam as customers three years ago um, this month, and we um, didn't start as fast as most people do. But through consistency and persistency over a long period of time, we followed the slide edge. If you haven't read the slide edge, please, please, please read it. My background is retail. Um, I owned a salon for many years, and we owned a retail business together. Brian's background is IT, and um, <laughs> you know Brian had never done anything like this before, and I had had some failures <laughs> in um, multi-level marketing. So um, we just just keep on doing what you're doing, um, and. Lisa said it the best, I think we'll be here five years from now, because some people it will take 30 days, some people it will take 60 days, some people like us, it's going to take probably three and a half years, four years to get to national marketing director. But that's a very short time when, it, when you talk about making a six-figure income, you can't do that in the corporate world in just four years. Thank you. How many national marketing directors in the room? Okay. One. <laughs> if I was a little fast, because there's a lot of new people in the room that don't know the national marketing directors, and I think it's important that you hear their story and how long it took them. But this is a cute little late wait. That's <laughs> great. Okay. This is a cute. And one thing that you guys probably don't know about her is she was the first winner of the 90 Day Real Results Contest. That Well, I, I love the Kansas City group, and 
everybody here is just awesome what Mindy and Raylan and everyone have done. I just love it. Um, I was introduced to the company by a phone call and then given a bottle. I struggled with my skin my entire life and I realized if you could take, eliminate 16 products you're using every day down to one, that in itself was huge and I love the fact that this was a natural product. I didn't know how to text. I didn't know how to do any of these things, but I knew how to invite people to my home. And so um, that's what we that's what we did. And that is the thing that I love about Miriam is you can do this following the system in the way that is just most comfortable for you. And for us, it was parties. I still do a party every week in my home and a market party every week also. Um, and I'm really proud that in Lincoln, Nebraska, we've got 12 car drivers and we're gonna have a lot of NMD. So. and how long it took us to hit NMD or not. I don't care what you want to do. But your most important nugget that you think um, has helped you achieve what you have. And I'll go first. Uh, Mindy Anderson, I've been in the industry for 14 years. That means I've been in multi-level for 14 years. And to me, everything is action. That's my nugget to everybody is it's action. Don't think too much. Quit thinking so much. And just believe in yourself and what you can do. Get over yourself and put yourself out there and take action. Hi, my name's Amy Carrillo. Um, my background's in law enforcement. It took me about three years to hit it in D, and my biggest thing is that it's a roller coaster. It doesn't look like the slight edge curve. It looks like this and this and loop de loops, and you just have to keep going, so. My name is Lance Burton. My background is in the housing industry, uh, sales and finance. Um, my, took me 23 months to get the NMD, but who's counting, right? 23.25 months. Uh, my biggest tip, uh, and, and we always continue to develop as people, and we're always continuing to grow. Uh, my biggest tip is when you're looking at somebody, look at them as the potential that they have and who they can't be, as opposed to a dollar sign. If you look at people like they're walking around dollar signs on their heads, your recruiting is going to be very, very low. If you have that one shift in mentality, watch what happens to your business. My name is Jen Solis, and my background is dental hygiene. I just retired after 21 years. And my biggest tip would be um, consistency and persistency. Always plug into the system and focus on your activities, not the results. Uh, Tony Solis, backgrounds in uh, corporate America. Uh, married to this awesome woman right here for many years. Um, I, I think really one of the key things is to be positive. You know, look at things on the brighter side and not always play that victim because it, it'll come across that way too. You know, and sometimes you don't want to be weird up there with people, right? So be positive. <laughs> I'm Lynn Whitney. My background is a, a boutique owner. Um, my biggest tip would be to um, obviously the 10 core commitments, um, like they have said, stay persistent, consistent. And when you feel like your your energy is low or your your um, activity is low, um, don't think about the obligation. Think about the opportunity. So if your if your business is low or maybe your activity is low for that week, you're probably thinking about the obligation and not the opportunity. So always think about the opportunity. Hi, Whitney, Corporate America, uh, stop dreaming. That's my background, I wasn't dreaming. And uh, I would encourage you to start to dream again and to get out of your own head. Uh, the biggest thing I took away from conference, I think, was that negative subconscious mind, that negative voice in your head that's telling you that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, that you're not good at certain things. And uh, I would encourage you to make little post-it notes, make little signs, verbally say, I'm great. Uh, if you think you're not good at three ways, tell yourself, I'm great at three ways. <laughs> hey! So I just point out that 
um, Mike and Ray Leonard one star, um, Lance's one star, yeah. right? Okay. And then um, two star, I'm a two star. Who needs um, a five star? <laughs> so Anna, Anna Woodward said something when I was up in Chicago and she did that uh, training, the leadership training. And I was fortunate enough to go to lunch with her. And on the way there, I said to her something and she said, you know, Mindy, it's a five star life. And I was like, that's pretty good. Are you living a five star life? I think you are. I still, I still don't believe it. You know, oh. I mean, I'm still kind of in that, um, like, I just, we feel so lucky and so fortunate um, to be, have the title, you know, but um, I still, I don't know, I, I don't feel like I'm in five star life yet because I want to get more people to five star first. And then I'll tell you the five star. You're doing, are we doing that right now? Okay, I'm sorry, Lisa. Oh, no. But anyway, Lisa is living the five-star life. So, um, international marketing directors, and I'm just going to bring on Mike and Ray Lynn because they have some fun stuff. <laughs>